So let's start to look how we can make these funnel charts. So the first thing what we need to do here, make sure you have the boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link, and then you scroll down here and copy this chunk of code. And you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, join the Discord channel for any questions. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a specific plugin, and this will be the plugin or the chart funnel uh, type that we're going to add on. However, this documentation truly lacks a lot of items. So I'm going to just cover it myself. And then what we're going to use is this specific link here, which is the chart yes chart funnel 4.1.7. Pay attention here. There are older packages, which probably was the foundation to create this new one that supported chart yes 4. So pay attention on this uh, number. All right. What we're going to do here is first of all, make sure we're going to add up the item. So I'm just going to add the script here because we will need the funnel link. So I'm going to copy that link here and just put that in here. So once I did that, save, refresh, nothing happens yet because we didn't activate it. So once we're going to do here in the bar, we're going to say funnel, save, refresh, and we're good to go. So once we have this here, what I would like to do is reduce the amount of items we have. And the reason we have this right now is because we have multiple points here of data. Let's save that, refresh, and you can see here now it becomes a nice funnel. However, the funnel is still calculating the space here because our labels here has seven items. And by default, ChartJS uses the labels to calculate the space. So let's save this, refresh, there we are. That looks much better. If you look at this here, you can see here as well that this structure truly works from a bar chart. It's basically a extension of a bar chart because it has this border skip at the very top. What do we can do here? There is, as of now, no drawing capability to draw that border on. I'm sure that will be added in the future, but so far I have found nothing. So what we can do here, even if we do this in zero and save this, refresh, it ignores the, the command, unless there's another command, but I'm not aware of. So what we can do, which is the most, uh, the easiest way is just to say here, border will be transparent. Save that, refresh, you can see here now, the border lines are gone, that is the best option. And so far we have this here, and it looks wonderful.